Inside the Classroom is brought to you by NYSED, a union of more than 600,000 professionals dedicated to education, human services, and health care. NYSED is proud to partner with parents in advocating for what students need. We stand for excellence in public education from preschool through post-grad. Find us online at NYSED.org. We get you started early. We stay with you in middle school. We see you through graduation, college, and beyond, realizing potential every step of the way. We're New York State United Teachers, 600,000 professionals dedicated to excellence in public education. But that's not all. We also provide health care and human services to New Yorkers of all ages. We're NYSET, caring for patients, working for students, working with our communities. Hi, I'm Ashley Dreyer. Welcome to another edition of Inside the Classroom. Well, today we have a special treat for our viewers. We're going to take you inside the classroom of several New York State teachers. Okay, ready? Small circles. Ranging it up. Okay, get your minds going. Find your happy place right now. Find your happy place. Candy. Okay, close your eyes. I'm thinking of a beach. Me too. I'm thinking. Where's the happy place? Yell it out. Oh, 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 oh no, I heard happy. I'm thinking of a beach. Anybody think of anything different where you're happy? Cole? Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup. Anybody else thinking? Caitlin? A giant marshmallow. A giant marshmallow. Anybody have a serious place? Serious place. Emily? Candy store. Candy store. Sabrina? A hammock next to a willow tree. Oh, a hammock next to a willow tree. Okay, let's just let them dangle a minute, then we'll be done. Look where I'm at. You shouldn't be moving them. Just let them freely move. Let your body take control. Deep breath. Hold it. Go 
Perfect, perfect. Well, nonfiction's a little bit different because we're reading something that's true, something that's giving us information. So a good example of that would be a manual. How many people like to play video games in here? Okay. How many people have ever put something together with mom or dad or by yourself? Whether it's a toy, a bike, okay, cool. Well, those things also come with manuals, step-by-step -step directions on how to do something, okay? How many people have ever read a book about a toad or a frog or some type of animal? Okay, good. Most of the time, not all of the time, but most of the time, you can get a nonfiction book out on animals, okay? Remember we did an animal project way at the beginning of the year? Remember those nonfiction books? Well, those nonfiction books were teaching us something. Well, today, before we read nonfiction, good nonfiction readers get ready to read by revving up their minds. How many people have ever been on a motorcycle or a four wheeler or a dirt bike before? Okay. Well, today, friends, I want you to start your engine. And the way we're going to start our engine before we read is we're going to picture getting on a motorcycle. I want you to picture putting your leg over onto a motorcycle. And I want you to listen as I start my engine. Go ahead. And we're going to rev up our minds like this. Vroom, 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 vroom. Okay, so we're not only starting our motorcycle, but we're revving up our minds to read nonfiction. Today, as you read nonfiction, I want you to take a look at your article. You're looking for text features that will help you figure out what your article's about. Who can tell me one text feature? I know we've been studying them for a while, so what might you be looking for in your article as you preview? or before you read. Give me an idea of something you're going to be looking for. Jonah. Heading. A heading. Excellent. Mandy. Um, a sidebar. A sidebar. Excellent. Mason. Um, I'll come back. A title. A title. Good. I read different. Jason. A pronunciation guide. A pronunciation guide. Emily. A caption. A caption. Bold. Bold face. Good. Um, a photograph. A Subtitle. Subtitle. And many more. Remember the list we've been using? Raise your hand if you remember the list we've been using. Good. Oh, we've been marking it up. Well, today you're going to take that list and you're going to mark up your text before you read. You're going to look for text features such as title, headings, <coughs> captions, photos. And you're going to notice subtopics that seem very what, everybody? Important. Yeah. Today I want you to think, what will this text be mostly about? What does it start with? What might be your subject? Before you start reading, take a look at everything and see what your article might be about. What do they talk about in the end? You're going to APK, Maddie. You're going to access prior knowledge. Think about what you know about this subject before you begin. Take a look at our textbooks talk. Take a look closely. Eyes up here. I want you to say to each other, I think this book is mostly about I think this section is mostly about. I think this is going to be about because of the title, headings, photographs, etc. How many people think they're going to be great at looking at nonfiction and dissecting the article today? Okay, class? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Take a look at your partner. Give them a high five if you're ready to go. Okay, class? Eyes on me. Okay. 
people. You can call them from almost anywhere in the world. Cell phones are more than telephones. There are also digital media players. You can listen to music on a cell phone. You can also play games on it. One reason. Three more. Can you do that? Cell phone weighed 90 pounds. 
Did you guys read that article before? Was that super interesting to you as well? Excellent. Who else has something to share? Hey, you go ahead. Um, my text is based on the cross and Americans and teams today. Many kids on the East Coast of the United States play the cross. Oh, I bet you a lot of you play lacrosse in here. Who plays lacrosse in here? Who would like to play lacrosse? Excellent, I love it. Who else has something interesting to share? Leah, go ahead. Um, we are thinking about a favorite magnets, and if we didn't have magnets, our parents could not buy toys for kids. Why? Why couldn't parents buy toys for kids if we didn't have magnets, Sid? Um, because, well, in the paragraph it says, credit cards have a strip on the back. The strip is magnetized. The strip has information. The strip sends messages to a bank. Then the bank allows your the card to spend money. Okay, so you're saying if we didn't have magnets, we wouldn't have like the debit cards or the credit cards because we need the magnetic strip on the back in order to purchase toys. That is probably true. Very interesting, Miss Loma. Tell me what you learned today. Um, my text is about the truth about quicksand, and something that interests me was that you can float in quicksand. You can float. So wait a minute, I have a question. If I was walking and I stepped in quicksand and I started to sink, should I still stand, did it give you any information like should I still stay standing or what should I do? You just have to stay calm and you have to put your arm down and your legs down and you have to stay calm so you won't sink. So kind of like a backflip? Interesting, I never knew that before. Did you guys hear that? So if you're ever stuck in quicksand, you don't want to stand there and try and like flail your way out of it, you want to backflip. Pretty interesting. Caitlin, share with us some standing. Okay, give me one really interesting one. What was your topic? Our topic was eat up your foods around the world. Oh, this is my favorite article, the weird foods around the world. Okay, tell it to me. I think there's something that happens in Japan. So it's and assists our state students, provides medical care and support, and strengthens our communities? We do. NYSIT members are classroom teachers, college faculty and staff, nurses and healthcare professionals. We're cafeteria workers, bus drivers, teacher aides and teaching assistants. We're more than 600,000 caring, supportive professionals living and working in communities across New York State. We are NYSIT. We make a difference. If you can hear me clap once. When I went online this morning to approve them, Dominic, some of your parents already commented on your picture. I know Holden's mom did. I think Luca's mom liked it. So when you go to your home screen, you go to your timeline, you should be able to see your friends' comments because they're filling your bucket, and you should also be able to see your parents' comments. You can exit out of that one because you just posted it. You can exit out. Once you've already posted it, I, I approve them, you can exit out. Yes, because we're going to come back to the rug and finish our book. And then, okay, you just posted, okay, I approve the ones that were up there. I can approve it. Click out of it. You'll see the ones I approved on your timeline, the ones that were up there. And while you're doing that, I will approve the comments. 22, all right, let's see. Uh, 
go with Cameron. You can go to that one. I'm getting. I'm gonna approve them. Post. I hold on. I like your smile. I love your shirt. Post. Go with your partner and show them what you did. What do you need, honey? Just hang tight for one minute. We're gonna finish our um, finish our book. These are some very nice comments. Okay, they should all be approved and they should show up on your timeline. Okay, if you can hear me clap once, if you can hear me clap twice, what I need you to do is carefully put your iPads in the corner of your desk. This afternoon when we come back after math, you can look at your timeline and make sure I approve them all. We're gonna come back to the rug and wrap up this book. So. Let me just ask you, how did you feel when you were making comments on your friend's timeline? How did you feel, Desmond? Happy. You felt happy. Right. How did you feel, Waylon? Happy. Happy. Is there another feeling other than happy? Zoe, how did you feel? Good. You felt good. Yes, it, when you give someone a compliment or you say some, something nice about someone, it makes them feel good and it typically makes you feel good as well. All right, so we ended talking about how you can fill someone's bucket. Unfortunately, when, you, when people don't always fill someone's bucket, that means they're being a bucket what? Dipper. Dipper. Let's talk a little bit about that. So you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, okay? When you say or do mean things, or even when you ignore someone. That's being a bucket dipper. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. Many people who dip have an empty bucket. They think they can fill their own bucket, by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into someone else's bucket by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad, why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, you become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You can smile and say hi to your bus driver. He has a bucket too. You can invite a new kid at school to play with you. You could write a thank you note to your teacher. You can tell your grandpa that you like to spend time with him. There are many, many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are. 
It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, and your neighborhood better places to be. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So, why not decide to be a bucket filler today? And every day for that matter, did I fill a bucket today? Great job, great job. You did a good job today, I'm very proud of you. Okay, that wraps up our lesson. We did a lot in that lesson. We started that lesson at nine o'clock this morning. And you guys did a great job. All right, so this afternoon you can go to your timeline and see all the great comments that your friends made. Okay? All right, let's go back to our seats. You can rely on your union. We're always by your side, safeguarding your workplace rights, advocating for fair pay and benefits, and ensuring you have a voice on the job. You work hard. Isn't it nice to know your union works hard for you? You and your union. Together, we stand up for our students. We strengthen public education and health care. Together, we make a difference. Thank you for joining us on Inside the Classroom. We get you started early. We stay with you in middle school. We see you through graduation, college, and beyond, realizing potential every step of the way. We're New York State United Teachers, 600,000 professionals dedicated to excellence in public education. But that's not all. We also provide healthcare and human services to New Yorkers of all ages. We're NYSET, caring for patients, working for students, working with our communities. Inside the Classroom is brought to you by NYSET, a union of more than 600,000 professionals dedicated to education, human services, and health care. NYSET is proud to partner with parents in advocating for what students need. We stand for excellence in public education from preschool through post-grad. Find us online at NYSET.org.